welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my recipe for my harissa prawns with spinach and spaghetti. It's a very very quick recipe and that's one of the reasons I love it. So first up I need 250 grams of spaghetti and I'm using here a whole wheat spaghetti because I just think this works very well with this recipe. Uh, the whole wheat gives it almost a nutty flavour so I want to just salt my water. I want it to be quite salty and in that goes. And use a good large pot of water as well when you're cooking spaghetti because it's when you don't that the temperature dips in the cooking water and that's how your pasta sticks together. There is absolutely no need to add oil into the water. You shouldn't do that. In fact, that is what will make your sauce not cling to your spaghetti. Start off here by just chopping a chili. And if you don't like it very, your food hot, then you can remove the seeds. I like my food quite hot, so I'm gonna leave the seeds in but I do want this chopped quite finely. Now what I'm going to do, get some heat on under this pan. I use a wok simply because it's large enough to take all the spaghetti later. I just want a little bit of oil. And then I'm going to grate in a clove of garlic. And this is a huge fat piece of garlic. And that goes. And then the zest of a lemon. So much flavour in the zest and it's often overlooked. Just give that a stir into the oil and in with the chilli. And this is what makes this such a super simple and quick dish and that is harissa paste. So I want about two tablespoons. Adds such flavor. I told you I was making a prawn pasta. So here are my prawns, these quite juicy plump prawns. And these have already been uh, de-veined and shelled as well. So they can go straight into the pan stir them about in the harissa. Look at the colour of that. Prawns don't take long to cook. And I'm ready now to add one of my favourites and that is spinach. And I want two large handfuls of it. And this may look like an awful lot of spinach, but after it's had a couple of moments in the pan, it'll look wilted down. Okay, I'm going to switch the heat off under that, and I'm just going to check my pasta. We're there. So keep a little of your pasta cooking water and then we'll just drain our pasta. We'll add just the tiniest little bit of pasta cooking water into the prawns and just stir that about. 
For one, it will stretch the sauce a little further and it helps the spaghetti and the sauce cling together. In that goes. And now we just need to toss it all together. Until every strand is coated. This is really enough to feed two people. However, I have been known to eat the whole lot myself on more than one occasion. <laughs> And that guys is my harissa prawn spinach and spaghetti. Such a simple dinner. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You'll find a link to the recipe in the description box below. And thank you for watching and I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video.